Namaskaram. Today, I'm going to recite the verses 24, 25, and 26 in Sankhya Yoga of Bhagavad Gita. Om Shri Paramatmane Namaha Achedyo Yamadahyo Yam Akledyo Shoshya Evacha Nityasarvagatastanuhu Achalo Yam Sanatanaha Avyakto Yamachinto Yam Avikaryo Yamuchyate Tasma devam viditvenam nanuso chitu marhasi atachainam nitya jatam nityam vamanya semrutam tata pitvam maha baho naivam so chitu marhasi om shri paramatmane namaha This is the translation for the slokas 24, 25, and 26. The soul is unbreakable and incombustible. It can neither be dampened nor dried. It is everlasting in all places, unalterable, immutable, and primordial. The soul is spoken of as invisible, inconceivable, and unchangeable. Knowing this, you should not grieve for the body. If, however, you think that the self is subject to constant birth and death, O mighty armed Arjun, even then you should not grieve like this.